Hello, my name is Jeanette and I'm a craft artist here at Sizzix. Did you know that you can use our ink sheets on more than just paper or um, paper leather or paper leather or even uh, cork? You can actually use ink sheets on glass and fabric and I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really easy and I think you're going to enjoy it. So let's get started. So this is kind of what we're going to remake, demonstrate. Okay. So first, you're going to need one of our ink sheets. And in case you're not familiar with ink sheets, they're dry ink transfers. And they add a really fun dimension to your project. So we're going to take our ink sheet and put it on a piece of paper. And we're going to emboss it to add that fun color pattern. Okay. And we're going to roll it through. And this is on tab two and we're just doing the normal embossing technique, but with an ink sheet between the paper and the embossing. Okay. So you can see how you can use the ink sheet on this uh, piece of paper for, to make a fun card, but we're gonna use the negative to transfer this pattern onto this mason jar. So we're going to use adhesive, and this is just double-sided adhesive, and we're just going to cut off a piece. Where's my scissors? There. <clears throat> and we're going to put that on the glass. And just think about how fun this would be to like give us a gift. And then we're gonna put the negative ink sheet right on there. And we're gonna burnish it with the bone folder. Burnish, burnish, burnish. We're gonna transfer all that color onto the glass. You think that's enough burnishing? <laughs> I'm gonna start a fire over here. Okay. Oh, it's gonna do a little bit more. And then when we peel it off, you see all that color was transferred over. Isn't that amazing? I love it. Okay, so now we're going to, since there's still some adhesive on those like little decorative edges, we're just gonna add some foil on top to just add this fun metallic feel to it. We're gonna burnish it again. It makes a really pretty jar. So fun, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to do this on fabric. So we got our little mini little tote bag here little drawstring canvas bag and we're gonna use where to go where is it uh oh I think I forgot the other sample okay oh no here it is here we have another <laughs> same technique as before I embossed it and then we have this negative and we're gonna put that onto our fabric with the adhesive again So we're gonna cut a piece off of this. Put that right on the fabric. Peel it off. Lay the ink sheet on top, and again, we're gonna burnish. Where's my bone folder? Where'd it go? Oh no, do you see it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Always losing my craft supplies. <laughs> After you transfer your ink sheet onto fabric, I don't recommend that you wash it. I mean, if you want to try to wash it off, it might come off. Um, so don't, I don't recommend that. But it's just a really, you're gonna see, it's so cute. Okay. That 
that's amazing. Look at that. It adds that fun little print onto the fabric. And again, we're gonna just go over with some foiling to get all those little decorative pieces that still have a little bit of sticky on them. And we're gonna accent them with some foil. Isn't that great? It's just like a quick, kind of like a screen printing process, but with ink sheets. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys.